Christmas is all about? What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel for Vlogmas Day 4. Today we are finally going over my kitchen organization. You guys, I literally had this footage since August. Do not judge me. It's fine. I'm finally putting it together for you guys for Vlogmas. So I'm starting off just showing you everything that I'll be using. A lot of it is from Amazon, I will be honest, but I've got super cheap bundles. I got a lot of this stuff, honestly, for so cheap for pantry organization as far as like those prices go. Um, but the labels and everything are from Amazon, baskets from Five Below, cereal containers from Walmart, and I'll have everything linked below. So I started off by just giving everything a good wash. Um, like I said, a lot of it came in packaging and boxes. And of course, it's just good to wash the stuff that you get from the store anyway when you're gonna be putting food um, and things that will go in your mouth inside of them. So um, I started off by doing that with all of the spice jars. And then things got a little bit more tricky when it came to these um, storage containers. So the ones that I got from Amazon, you literally push them down and pull off the tab in order to take all the pieces apart. This is actually how you're supposed to wash it. Um, and so I did that and kind of showed you all how to do it because it was a little bit confusing. They do have instructions to kind of help you figure it out. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. For the other baskets and things, I just sprayed them down with a disinfectant spray and wiped them out. And this is everything after it was all washed. You guys, there were so many pieces. This was so tedious. So I'm just telling you right now, just prepare for this journey because it's a, it's a bit much to get everything ready to go. So now that everything is washed and dried and ready, I am moving on to the pantry. So I'm just showing you how it currently looks. I had some groceries in there and some things kind of set up, but not at all organized. Um, so I had no idea at this point how I was going to organize it, but yeah, just wanted to give you guys a look of the size of my pantry. I live in a two bedroom, two bathroom apartment, and so the pantry is rather small, but it's actually pretty deep, so I can fit quite a few things in there. Um, so I just start by taking everything out so I can see what I have and what needs to go where. So I went grocery shopping and got a lot of the staples. I literally had the Pinterest because this is my first pantry. So I'm like, what goes in a pantry? <laughs> so I did uh, use Pinterest help, but I went to the store and got some things. And then the rest is the stuff that was already in there. So then I pretty much just start going to town and putting things in containers. Started with cereal and then um, the main containers that I do at this point are like flour, sugar, flaxseed, all of that kind of stuff. And you'll notice that I kind of have to pour things into different containers. I had to switch things around several times. So just prepare to have to do that. And then I got this trick from watching other videos. I cut out the instructions for that specific rice because they're a little different than your regular rice and just slid them down inside so that I can see them on the side of the container. I the Lazy Susan and I got this from Marshalls and I just figured the vitamins and medicine would probably go best in here and it works really good. So I pretty much just started putting things in there, seeing how it fits, moving it around. Um, the taller items all had to go on the top shelf because the shelves weren't tall enough. Um, I had a ton of care of vitamins from when I had a subscription last year so I found a way to make those work as well. And then I just played around with the other baskets that I had to see like which snacks work well together, um, the different sizes of snacks, which ones fit well together in baskets. I did that one as a breakfast basket, so cereal bars and oatmeal. It's essentially one big game of Tetris at this point, seeing what works well together. I did a basket of sauces and taco mix. Um, so yeah, it was literally just figuring out what worked.
Now we're moving on to the spice rack. So I'm showing you all the spices I have. I'm still getting used to the idea of being a person who cooks from home now that I have this big kitchen. So I started off by just pulling out all the spices um, and then I put all my jars together. You'll notice I have two different sides of spice jars. That was intentional, but I also thought that both of those were bigger than they actually turned out to be. So you'll notice that they don't really fit everything. Honestly, those ones with the black cap fit the most. Um, the small glass ones were kind of frustrating because a lot of the um, spices that I had didn't fully fit inside of them. So not sure I would recommend those ones on the side unless you buy like your own spices and don't buy as much, but yeah, and I honestly didn't have enough space in the spice rack cabinet to have a cabinet full of the ones with the black cap. So I made it work. And here you'll notice I had to cut the labels in order for them to fit on the small glass jars. It worked out perfectly. I just cut some off the top and the bottom. Um, but the other labels fit perfectly on the other jar. And here is the final reveal of my small pantry. I am obsessed with it. So are my guests. Every time they come over, my family, they're like, what the heck? I'm like, I know. It is so perfect to just have everything organized. I know exactly where I need to go for what I'm looking for. Um, this was from back in August. So the space looks a little bit different, but all of the containers and everything are the same. I just kind of change out what I use the different baskets for with whatever kind of snacks and food that I buy. But I absolutely love this space. Like I said, even though it's small, it's deep. So um, you notice that I've doubled up some baskets on those shelves up top. I still have tons of space to fit other food, get other containers over time if I need them. But this is so perfect enough for one person. I would even say if I did live with someone, it would be perfect for two people. And yeah, I just, I love how I use the space. And here we have the final reveal of my spice rack. Obsessed, y'all. Like, I literally, the aesthetic came out exactly how I envisioned. Honestly, even better than I envisioned. I am so pleased with how everything fit in there. And like I said, any excess spices I have, I keep in the pantry. Um, but I just, I love it. I have my flour, sugar, pancake mix, like all of the baking kind of goods are in tubs. And these ones I actually had to go out and purchase from Marshalls as well. But all of this stuff is affordable. I promise it is a way to make a smaller kitchen space really work for you. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you choose to stick around. Don't forget to subscribe and throw me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next day of Vlogmas. Bye. Thank you.